far, 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 we're good. So we've got in the office the one and only Jack Tenney. YouTube star. I mean, wait, you just hit five million. Is that right? Yes, sir. Five million Never heard of subscribers. <laughs> I kind of have questions to ask you about the fucking Tesla. The update. The brand new, what's it called? The cyber truck? The cyber truck's what they're calling it. Yeah, I mean, uh, when, when Elon first said that they were going to make a truck, I was like, that'd be badass. I mean, I like tes- Teslas. I like being able to save money and not have to buy gas. Well, his yes. brother and Elon are fucking buddies, I'm guessing, right? Or maybe oh, not really? buddies, yeah. but like... Well, they uh, they follow each other on Twitter. Yeah. And um, he's, like, responded story. to turn... My brother's, like, one of the most well-known Fortnite players in the world, which <laughs> is the most popular video game that anyone has ever mm-hmm. created. And um, he just got a huge social media following. So when he, uh, he messaged Elon about buying a uh, Tesla... He actually responded, and then they've, like, chatted a couple times since then, and my brother has now bought himself a Tesla and bought my mom a Tesla, <laughs> and I rad. love him. from Fortnite? Just, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just makes money Dude, playing no, Fortnite. He, he just bought a 16,500-square-foot warehouse and a 5,000-square-foot house on the intercoastal. Okay, you and your brother both are popular on on through youtube social media it's an understatement I guess is, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Okay. But, you can but, say that but what? i mean he is That's like, what I'm saying? like he has some of the best hand-eye coordination out of anyone on the planet I've never seen like me, bro <laughs> <laughs> Yo, st- your wallet's so, not even in your pocket hey. anymore <laughs> What are you doing Fortnite? I have no idea. I'm He's like, a you really, it's, hey, it, it's like it's a yeah, way better version of 007. No, think of it like this: I've it's, never it's the it. most <laughs> fast-paced version of chess on the planet. So, so tell me if this is correct or not. But basically, uh, I guess Turner just at Elon Musk and was like, "Hey, if you this is the the legend that I've heard mm-hmm. that he was like, hey, if you respond to this, I'll buy a Tesla. Yep. And then he was like. Hey, Tifu. I don't remember the exact context, like, so, like, but that's exactly, like, was, yeah. yeah. Well, for, have you been in a Tesla before? Like, have you experienced yeah. autonomous oh driving? I'm like, do the autonomous driving. We're just driving down Gulf Boulevard. And he, like, puts it on the deal, and I'm like, you swear to God your feet aren't on the gas pedal or the brake or whatever. And he's got his hands up like this, and he's like, I swear to God. And, like, we were hitting red lights, and it was, like, stopping. And when they'd go, it would go. And I was like, close your eyes. And he's like... I can't. He's like, I can do it for like two seconds, but it's just because he's used to driving too, like normal driving. <laughs> yeah. So being in the driver's seat and keeping your eye clo- eyes closed for more than five seconds is, <laughs> even though it's going to drive itself, I like that, you I... could totally play Dude, Turner Fortnite. puts his feet up on the dash. <laughs> it'll be on his phone Text just like. <laughs> okay, so what made, so how did that all like organically, how did it all start? Like what, what were you just like, oh, this is funny. Like were you just inspired by like, you know, all the, the BAM, jackass, skateboard videos, surf videos, that sort of stuff? Absolutely. Well, it was more so that my tw- when I was 12, my brother got hit in the nuts while we were playing wall ball, and we filmed <laughs> it, and we thought it was fucking hilarious. Fucking... I mean, it's like, no, no, no. Like, so we created a YouTube channel, which is the first four letters of our names and all of our ages, and our channel name was PPJT141287. <laughs> no way! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the nut shot. Yeah, it's still on YouTube to this day. Started it all, dude. <laughs> but, like, God. we were just mind blown. So anytime we filmed anything after that that was funny or cool, we just threw it online. And then Do you I think, think you after... Do you think everyone was pedophiles? Because you guys were really <laughs> <kids. laughs> Potentially. Look at, this, look at this young kid rub his nuts because they hurt. Turner, Turner's <laughs> balls have been making you guys money for yeah. years. <laughs> When I Hilarious. used to ding dong ditch your house all the time. Dude, what's that? <laughs> you remember when I used to ding dong ditch your you house? Did all the always time? ding dong. I knew it, motherfucker. <laughs> hey, did you guys vandalize my truck? No. Okay. I didn't. I was. Some, I never like. It seemed like a female. Um, it was, <laughs> yeah, it seemed, probably. It seemed kind of like. Ooh. I didn't. You know, we <laughs> like <laughs> tampon in the gas <laughs> tank. Okay, sorry. So the rope story. So literally, they would basically go and stand on each side of the road, and nothing in their hands whatsoever, but. Each one of them on each side would go like this, like act like they were pulling and be and hold it and like, and cars would be like, and be like, and like we'd bump. And no way, they, that, they would just hold oh, it yeah. the whole time. Like fake hold a rope. Exactly, like we're okay. playing tug of war. Yeah. If you guys, if you <laughs> didn't hilarious. come up with that yourself, you can lie and say you did. But uh, then we did Slenderman prank and Dude, um, Slenderman's 
spooky, dude. I don't but like it. But that video alone like, put us from 10,000 subscribers to 100,000. What's so, what, so explain what Slenderman like is. Slenderman is uh, <laughs> just like, dick. it's like folklore. It's yeah. just been like a scary story for hundreds of years. Yeah. And then this guy, uh, actually, boom, first viral video, deserves a tattoo. So what, like can, the, what makes something a viral video? I mean, a it got amount, like or? it got like two hundred thousand views in the first week, which was the most views we'd ever gotten on That's any video. And then know. over the course of the next year, it got like seven million. How many videos do you guys have on YouTube? Fuck, um, over a thousand. The, the top, the the top is the beer mug. <clears throat> beer mug, really? The beer yeah. mug, and that. Or no, you were twenty one, obviously. No, or no, you no, they were all fake. They were like the oh, ones. You know, they right. had the they had the. It was like the coolant cups, you know, yes. like where the outside, it looked like beer. It had like foam little yep. like balls in it to make it look like foam. That was only five years ago, no. over five years ago. The cops um, were pissed. But the reason that that video went so viral is because of how mean the female cop was. Oh, yeah. She, well, called, she went overboard, right? Yeah, she called a 13-year-old kid a fucking retard. Saying this, as soon as I got out of the car, I smelled weed on you. You guys need to empty your pockets. If I search you and I find weed, you're all going to jail. You just need to be honest with me. You need to give me the weed. I smell it like scolding them. They're all just, just like, they they're all just like, no, like, no. Well, yeah. yeah, we're also out there trying to prank police right, officers. Right. So we're not going to fucking carry it. <laughs> Listen, I got like, an eight ball of Coke on me. Let's yeah, go prank co- this cop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come on. But how do views work? Like, how do you get paid for views? Is it half a cent per view, a penny per? No, comment? it uh, it com- <laughs> every single video you get paid out differently. If a video is longer than ten minutes long, you can put mid roll ads to where halfway through the video you actually have an ad pop up that you have to watch. Mm. But um, like back then, I was ma- if I was lucky, I made a thousand dollars off a million. Views. Off a million. If I was lucky, like I was right. happy if I did, but. Luckily, we've kind of gotten into more premium advertisements now, yeah. so we're getting like three to four thousand dollars per million views. So, what does it matter? They pay you based on how long someone watches the commercial. So, because I've been watching it's, it's all of your commercials from the beginning of the end, then I feel thank like you. It's you're giving you're definitely okay, yeah. giving me more. You yeah. get paid more if you like if you click on the ad, then yep. I'll actually make like a couple cents. From YouTube, I so just you double, got a big sponsor. Yeah. Down, who, can you say who it is? Bang Tesla. Energy. Yeah. Oh yeah, Bang Energy. Yeah, Bang Energy. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, oh, they're they're uh, really? they're sponsoring us for the whole year, and no that's shit. been pretty big. It's actually like increased our budget pretty significantly to where we can put a lot more money into our productions now. So Damn. that's really cool. Well, that's Something why this that, podcast doesn't have opposite, any sponsors. Yeah, we right. turn them all down. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck sponsoring this podcast. It's not gonna happen. You gotta throw it out there like that. <laughs> There's two board rocks that get you to the beach at Reddington, so it's the only way you can get on and off the beach. So we would just line that bitch with all of us. Like, there would be 10 people on one side, 10 people on the other, and we're just hanging out, sitting there, and people, it's... People would go it's around. Never doing anything, walking. but it's just, yeah, like, I don't want to walk through that shit now either. Like, if I saw a bunch of high school kids, 20 kids sitting like this, I'm not trying to... And we'd call it the gauntlet. So anyways, so Sam was doing this fucking deal. We had a dollar bill tied at the end of this freaking thing, like 15 feet away. And people would bend over to pick it up and he'd like fish with it and pull it away or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we did it and everybody would laugh. The whole gauntlet would laugh. And then this, and then, but it was (laughs) like kids, this whole, and this little like five-year-old kid is walking up with his mom and he's like, mommy, a dollar and bends over to pick it up and Sam. (laughs) <laughs> totally pulls it and he keeps going and he's like what and then like the the mom looks up and realizes what's going on with like death stare like full oh mama God. bear style yeah. and is like why don't you guys get fucking jobs <laughs> <laughs> i hated the idea of going to school so he was like i was like dad like i'm gonna blow up on youtube i'm gonna start making money on the internet like just wait and he was like all right well you can either go to college or become famous like, I think if people just saw you, they would just go, oh, like, the typical, like, stoner, waste, so he doesn't do shit. You wow, know what I mean? Thanks. Like, that's a generalization. <laughs> like, wow. Wow. No, no, whatever. <laughs> whatever. He's got long hair, beating. Well, if people saw you, they'd think that you stole that from my, that sweater from my grandfather. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm not saying. So do you remember when there was a, there was a law that they... Uh, passed uh, Rick Scott passed that basically said if you own your home oh, yeah. on the beach oh, that yeah. you own the beach all yeah, the way to the water behind you so you can kick people off the beach I got that Rick law Scott's removed a so. yeah <laughs> he filmed a video kicking everyone off be- the beach but and he was fencing it off just basically beat like showing like he was being facetious he was like look I'm not like 
But everyone Did thought it? he was for real, huh? So okay, so what happened? He tells the story. Oh, yeah, oh the, like the news like fourteen out. times. Yeah. Like no, and That's every, every news station in the Florida. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So oh man, this is a fucking story. We thought that law was so dumb. So, well, so we're like, we're like, all right, like how do we get this law removed? It's probably to cause a huge fuss about it and try to get as many eyes on it as possible. Plus, maybe we can like film a hilarious prank. People called the cops, and the cops were like, well, technically with the new law, like, you guys have to leave. All these news stations started coming out and filming our fence, and they were coming up to me, and they were interviewing me, and I was like, yeah, it's great, I love this law, it's awesome, because I knew it was going to piss so many people off. And it I did Sober so October. Cute. Yeah. And, um, I didn't. so I would do <laughs> <laughs> I started Start Gatorade me. when I was like 10. The Gatorade powder things. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> Very hydrating. <laughs> so Jack is pretty much a goddamn paleontologist. Oh, he's been searching for... Paleontologist he's paleontologist. He's been now. searching <laughs> for these... Uh, he's able to find these megalodon teeth. From everything science tells us, um, between four and five million years ago is when they went extinct, mm -hmm. and they ruled the ocean for 15 million years. He touched it first, four million years later, and then he gave it to me straight out of his fucking fanny pack. He was like, here, you can have this one. When people go to grab it, I'm like, only three people have touched this. <laughs> I don't know. So <laughs> did, you yeah. did you touch it? Did you touch it yet? I, didn't I did touch it. I did touch it. But you, the cool thing about God that damn is it. like, oh, I did. He's like, yeah, I found like a three-inch megalodon tooth today. We're like... Like here, like where we are right now, like we could not believe it. It's just the crazy. Like I've been looking for shark teeth my entire life. Like, yeah. I lived at the beach my whole life. Right. My neighbors were into it. My parents were into it. We would just go on walks. At find sunset. a little black We'd find one. little yeah, little beach teeth, and it was sick. <laughs> How many teeth do you think you found? At this I probably point? have like four hundred megalodon teeth, and like uh, yeah, like everywhere. five thousand small teeth. But I'd say my collection is probably worth like forty to fifty thousand dollars now, just because we found such That's high quality good. teeth. Oh, my buddy like found the uh, nicest no. tooth found in of the year, and then on the entire planet. Two days later, turned around, and sold it for seven thousand dollars. I call it the chocolate angel. Let me see. Because <laughs> it's got like a chocolatey root, and Dude, they call, how they call teeth with brown hell. roots chocolate tops in Florida. That's like the paleontology slang. You know, the phosphate industry, like 90% of the planet's phosphate comes from Florida, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really? So the, so the phosphate mines, thousands and thousands and thousands of acres of Florida are being dug up for phosphate. And every time they dig, they're destroying mammoth fossils, like all kinds of ancient, like giant sloths, all the shark's teeth, all the fossils for the last... Since Florida was a, uh, a reef. If, if I can recommend anything to you guys tonight, being people who live in Florida, mm -hmm. watch Sunrise at Bone Valley. It's on YouTube. It's free. Sunrise it's a, at Bone Valley? Yeah, it's about this guy, Frank Garcia, who's an amateur paleontologist. Like, reminds me a lot of just me and my friends. And he would just go out to the phosphate mines when he had uh, permission, and he would find... I think he found like something like... Oh, several species of animals that had never been recorded before. But, dude, I got, like, we've gone uh, hunting for arrowheads, too, because, I mean, as most people know that live in Florida, Florida was naturally inhabited by Indians. Mm. And there are arrowheads everywhere. And, like, one thing that people don't really like to talk about is, like, if you guys had any idea how many houses were built on I Indian found one burial in grounds. Really? It is absurd. It would yeah. probably make you sick to your fucking stomach how really? many graves are all over the state of Florida. Just right and underneath just, people's houses. All right, so I talked to this guy in Tampa. He said if there was anywhere that he could have free range to look for arrowheads, anywhere on the planet, it would be the Bel Air Bluffs. Mm -hmm. He said when they Makes were sense. building houses in Bel Air and when they were building the golf courses and when they were digging the sand traps, there were arrowheads fucking everywhere. But I guarantee you old Mary that lives on Bel Air Bluffs is just either sitting on top of an old Indian village right. or an old Indian graveyard or both. Should we wrap it up? Wrap Go it next door to the bar? Yeah, I'm good with that. I'll talk to you for goddamn ever. Will you please take me on a paleontology excavation? Absolutely, dude. We didn't yes. even like tap into like the whole lucid dreaming topic, too. Uh, we're going to do that next time. That's we right. Did I didn't one, know man. if we could touch on that. Or we not. We'll have that's to heavy. That's a lot. Okay. Well, hey, <laughs> we, let's do another one. I'm game, man. Okay, I'm awesome. right Cheers. up the road. Thank you guys Cheers, so much. Cheers, boys. Thanks. Appreciate it.